Hey everybody, back in September 2010, I shot the original Cooking with Intel episode. Frying bologna on a 1.8 GHz Intel Celeron processor. And that video over the years has become an internet sensation. Um, you're subject to find it on lots of, on, on a lot of parts of the internet. Um, people have made GIFs of this image here. Um, among other things, it's been shared on Reddit numerous times. Even Gigabyte featured it on their Facebook page. Linus Tech Tips used a piece of the video in one of his um, educational videos. Cooking with Intel has definitely got its fair share of attention. There's one secret, however, with cooking with Intel. Well, not necessarily a secret. This is something I didn't get on video after the fact. The CPU used in the Cooking with Intel episode actually had a second life. No, not as a computer processor. You can forget that. Um, but I did power on this machine again and the CPU actually got hot enough to boil water. And of course, it's squirting a little bit of water on top of the CPU with the paper towel and it was actually able to boil it away. And in fact, I think I may have actually fried a little bit of bologna on it again before it absolutely just up and quit. It's so unfortunate I never did get that on video, but that would have been so cool. So, earlier in this year, 2017, I did a Cooking with Intel episode 5. Went back to the basics here with this same motherboard and a different processor. Of course, if you didn't know, Cooking with Intel episode 4 was probably my most and um, a probably interesting episode ever so far because I was actually able to boil pasta and fully cook pasta on a Pentium 4 LGA 775 3GHz processor and I was, even, I was even able to add some tomato soup to it afterwards and have it as a little meal very interesting but here we have this well you can't tell it anymore but it was a Intel Celeron D340 2.9 3GHz processor well, on the rise, what it originally looked like, um, yeah, <laughs> before I fried one and a half slices of bologna on the thing, um, yeah. Now, surely you would think this CPU is completely done. However, I never have actually tried it yet. Um, of course, I shot that video earlier this year. It's been at least a couple months or probably several months since that video was posted to YouTube. The thing I'm wondering is will this CPU burn again? There's only one way to find out. Let's pop it in there and see what it does. And of course I have everything rigged up as usual. No RAM on the motherboard. Power supply on. Jumpered. Make sure it's fully seated. There we go. So, will this CPU burn anymore? Again, let's find out and see what she can do. Grab me just a little bit of water. Just in case this thing has any cooking abilities left in it. No, I'm not gonna fry any more bologna on this. Um, as filthy as that surface is, um, no, not gonna happen. But, I wanna see if this thing has any more potential. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. It's gone. Cool to the touch. Cool to the touch. 
Oh well. So this one is completely dead. Let's go ahead and pop in this Sauron D340. Or at least the 2.93 gigahertz. I think it's the 340. And of course this in here will probably heat up like a rocket. Oh yeah. <laughs> it got hot that quick while I couldn't touch it. So yeah guys. May there be a cook one then till episode six coming soon. Not sure, but we we might have something here pretty soon. This will be seven years since the original. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeCop MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.